Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and as you can see we are at Microsoft Build 2017 and this is a HoloLens experience that we have. So, uh, Luis, right? Yes, can you please tell us what exactly is happening here in this demo? Definitely. So we are working with a government agency that is primarily tasked with uh, generating maps for uh, other government agencies. Um, one of their artifacts is generating a large book of maps. Um, the whole point of this experience is to um, replace that large book of maps and give a unified experience that multiple government agencies can look at at once for planning purposes for large national events. Okay. Um, this also ensures that there's data consistency across agency um, and allows for data sharing, knowledge sharing, and things like that. Okay, so the experience that we get when we put on the HoloLens headset is we see a national monument from the US and we can actually just uh, point and click and navigate as the gentleman here is about to do and actually navigate uh, uh, through the monument. So how does this help in the planning or how does this affect to the whole experience vis-a-vis -a, -vis a traditional way of building such a map. Sure. Um, so uh, this experience is slightly pared down from the uh, full-on experience that the government agency uses. But in the full experience, uh, the government agency is allowed to um, add and remove different data sources. So what they could do is say, plot all of the police stations, all of the healthcare stations, um, all of the metro stops, all of public transportation, things like that, that will help the government agency understand um, where the crowd should go, maybe where a parade route should pass through, um, where to position security officers, things of that nature. Okay. And uh, how do you think mixed reality is uh, helping such businesses that are into either mapping or into kind of, you know, looking at large scale things through the uh, version of augmented reality or mixed reality? How, how easier is it making the job of planners or people that actually want to bring these experiences to people? So the biggest benefit is reducing travel, right? So if I need to make a map or um, understand what the map of a country looks like that may be um, thousands of miles away, I can put on this device, get a first person view of the actual environment, landscape, um, and geography, as well as getting a uh, bird's eye view of the map itself, so I understand where these landmarks are. Um, this allows me to do things like line of sight analysis, um, uh, analysis of different parade routes or, or different uh, routes that, that uh, VIPs might take. Okay. And how accurately do you design these maps? As in, are they, uh, is it something that's pre-designed and given to use with the HoloLens or is it something that you design from scratch? Currently, uh, the map that we're using has been uh, built by hand, designed from scratch. Okay. The future uh, of this application will take in uh, other data sources, something like um, uh, you know Bing Maps, Google Maps, one of those types of data sources to transform that data into usable data in the HoloLens, which will mean that you can say, instead of just being limited to Washington, D.C., like this experience is, you could say, take me to Denver, take me to L.A., take me to San Francisco, and all of that would simply be automatically generated for you. And in this augmented reality world, you can experience places you've never been to before. Exactly. That's perfect. Anything else you'd like to share about this experience that I may not have asked? No, I think we did a very good job covering it. Thank you. All right, great. Yeah. Thank you so much.